I can't believe week one of Gortober is almost over. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of the month, I created my own Gortober list and every week I give myself three prompts that I have to either put together in one drawing or multiple. And I don't have to use all of them, but that's just the goal. And this week was melting, cursed, and fungi. I did draw mushrooms on the first version of this illustration, but I decided that I want to try to make this even more different than the first sketch, and that is why I decided to go with flowers and make the creature look like it was like melting and falling apart. Everyone is still throwing out names, and a lot of them were really good, like the dryad deer, or even just the mythical or mystical deer, which I like all of those. Still, people don't want me to call her cursed. I mean, she looks cursed, but you know, if you guys would like her to be a different name, I completely understand. Even though this is the second attempt, and I did draw this during Doodle Tuesday this past Tuesday, I really do enjoy how this pose turned out and I decided to go a completely different direction than I usually would. Whenever I try to color in parts where I've designated as places where I'm coloring in, I usually go with like a black ink. This time around I went with a purple against a gold and white for the stars, which you'll see in a second, and I really do like the change. My white pen was being kind of odd though, so I don't think if I do this style again I'll do the white pen. I think I'll just stick with gold, but let me know what you guys think because I think it looked really cool in the end. I did also decide to make the antlers gold as well to make it pop against the purple because I felt like something else needed to happen that was kind of dramatic to pull you in from not only the bottom of the page but the top as well. So let me know if you liked that idea. This week has just been flying through my fingers so I can't wait to see what we do next week and hopefully I'll have more time to dedicate to this prompt list.